Good morning, children. How was breakfast? Good. Actually, Eloise and Lyndall helped me make the scrambled eggs. They're pretty good little chefs. Today we have a little project. Somebody awesome sent some sock puppets. Do you guys know what day of the week it is? Oh, do you guys know what day of the week it is? No. You don't? Sunday! What'd you say? Sunday? Yes. You're only one day away. Friday! No. No. You guys. Yes. You guys would be at school if it was Friday. Yeah. All right, let me, can you guys say thank you to whoever sent the sock puppets? Thank you. Thank you. There was no name, so. Isn't it nice that somebody thinks about you and sends you a sock puppet making kit? The, yeah! You can design your own puppet. They spend their piggy bank money on you guys. Instead of buying something they want, they bought something for you. Using their money. <laughs> I know, that's so kind. Okay, let's open it. Oh. Look, Daddy. Ah, they're so cute. Me too. <laughs> These girls are hanging out in here. What do you have? <clears throat> it's time for one of these things. And we have donated, we had donated our other one. So I found this one on Amazon when I thought it was, I don't know, I just liked it. It's made out of wood and it has some cool stuff on it. It doesn't make any noise. It doesn't take batteries. <laughs> it has some fun things to do. And it has in the back a little holder so you guys can put your snacks in there. When you're walking around, you can put your snacks and your toys. It's pretty cool, huh? Do you wanna try standing up on it? You wanna try? It's a little tall. I don't know, Ada. Are you tall enough? Hello, Sue. Hi. Progress report. There, that's hilarious. Let's see yours. No, I have hair. Her hair. Let's see the mouth. What is the name of your show called? It's called the Puppet Show. The Puppet Show. And the real name for it is called Puppet Grand Finale. Okay, so get in position. All right, open the curtain. Start when you're ready. <laughs> Ada, watch the show. What? All right, we'll start over. Great show. Uh, okay, here it goes. This show is called Puppets. <laughs> there was once three puppets in Cutie, Aspect, and Drumbo. Like, this is Today, we're living in a house that lit that was at the end of the woods. And they had a big bad wolf that wanted to eat the cake. Oh. And then they ran away. And then they got 
got help. Yay! One color, one color, we need you. There's a bad wolf, and he's going to eat us. So the wood cutter said, I'll help you. And then they went to the wolf, and then the wood cutter said, oh no, it's eating your house. And then the wood cutter stopped it. The end. Yay! Take a bow, buddy. Take a bow. What a great show. What a fun toy. Quick shout out to uh, Leapfrog. That's Story Bunny. Man, that's what I said. That's Story Bunny. You guys would love that thing. And also Bear's game is Leapfrog. Yeah. Bear, what are you doing? Bear, what are you doing? What? What are you doing with scissors? Yeah, well, it's everybody's, honey. <coughs> but, no one ever with it, but you love it the most. Because mm -hmm. they yeah. always play because they tell stories. Yeah. Even though it's a dinosaur yeah. story, I get to be a tyrannosaurus. Yeah. And I have to close but my eyes. Oh, but not yourself. No, no, no. You guys know not to ever cut your own hair, right? I know. So did I just cut it bad? Did mommy do that to your hair? <laughs> uh, did you did you cut your own hair as a kid? I don't think so. Are you going to cut my hair? No, you don't need your haircut, buddy. My family cut her own hair. She did. Without even asking her mom. Uh oh no! How did it look? Short, really short. It was like up to here. Oh, oh no! no. You, when we looked at her it. when she when we looked at her when she cut her hair. Yeah. She looked like three. <laughs> really? And she's supposed to be five? No, she's not five, she's four. Yeah, she's Come four to Papa. She's four and a half. Summer birthday. So she's so excited. Oh. Hey, mommy. Hi. Yeah? I mean, I mean, Daddy? Yes? Can I steal your hair? You're hilarious. What do you think? What do you, what do you think you're doing over here? I don't know. <laughs> I decided to go for a big batch. Go big or go home. Because we eat them a lot, and this now that I'm doing this, this will be the time everybody decides they don't like balls anymore. I'll eat them all, honey. Yeah, I like to put them on yogurt. Mm -hmm. uh, I still have to put in the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a fun little Sunday around here. We are getting in the mode, yeah, I think that's what I would say, getting in the mode for selling this place. So we need to stage it appropriately. Now, we haven't decided exactly like when we're gonna put this place on the market, but it'll probably be sooner rather than later. Uh, we, don't, we don't have strawberries, we have raspberries. They're right next to you. This used to be Bear's bedroom. And originally, this was a storage, like uh, on the, I guess, Rachel, do you remember on the floor plan, like what they called this? Just, because the other room's the utility room. Yeah, I think they just call it a storage room. It was not finished and no flooring so basically we we framed it out put the flooring in haven't changed the lights so this is a non-conforming bedroom you know there's no closet and there's no uh, window or, or escape route so it's a non-conforming bedroom so we're going to stage this we're going to put our peloton here and kind of stage it as a workout area and maybe i don't know kid stuff like but, yeah, in this neighborhood though, these types of homes are almost all on a slope. And so almost all of them have a room in them that's considered a non-conforming. They, I mean, I know like technically you cannot call it a bedroom. It is not a bedroom. It doesn't count as a bedroom, but they're going to list this the same way they list all of the other ones. And that would be a four bedroom, one non-conforming. So that's just the way our agent, she's kind of an expert in our neighborhood, which is a, 
unique neighborhood in the area. So comps are really only within this neighborhood because of that. And so like even the other house that we were kind of basing our flip off of had their stage as a bedroom too. Same. Remember the one? Yeah. You know. But we're one. not gonna but we're not gonna stage ours as a bedroom. Yeah. Now this used to be what we called the nugget room because we had the nugget in here and Eloise before she joined Lyndall in her bedroom. This used to be her bedroom. So we're gonna move Bear in here, which I mean this is a great room. I don't know why we didn't do that right away. Well, because Eloise Oh yeah, like when Eloise moved out? Yeah. Well we weren't we didn't think we were gonna move at that point. I know, but even if we weren't gonna move, like this would have been a better bedroom for Bear than that one. Yeah, true. I don't know why we didn't Yeah, I don't know either. But anyway, so Did we did we move him? We moved him into there before we moved Eloise into there. Correct. That was why. Yeah, because Eloise was she was still in a crib. And like not wanting to go to bed. Yeah, so that's, that's right. We moved her in with Lyndall. And into a big real bed. I need to fix that. Yeah. So yeah, Bear's coming in here now. So we also, Rachel went, where'd you get this mirror? Marshall's or something? Yeah. And we had not quite finished this bathroom, but it's almost done now. So. I have a shower curtain for there. I just don't have, it'll look really nice with the shower curtain. Don't have a rod, but yeah. So we did a whole new, a whole new like deeper than normal tub, which I don't recommend doing because <laughs> it was a real pain in the butt. Like basically customizing all the um, plumbing. So anyway, so yeah, there's the nice mirror. That's a shower curtain. Mhm. Mm it's like the decorative part of the shower curtain, and then you have to get the plastic liner and. Isn't this the shower curtain? Yeah. Oh. This is the one we had at the cabin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then we built our own bathroom. So this storage room used to be, uh, it, that other room over there used to look exactly like this. And this is like the true utility room. And then we, that right there is a closet and that's the bathroom. We haven't decided if we're gonna drywall this wall or not. It's pretty easy to drywall a wall. So this is the brand new bathroom and then you can go through it to the closet and got a nice giant painting for this room. I would prefer to wait till we moved out to put it on the market. What do you think? Yeah, um, I don't really care. I always say that and then it's a huge pain to like get out and- Well, so we don't need to stage it if we're not gonna- It's a good point. Unless we're gonna get photos taken before we- Probably, yeah, I don't know. Um, but we're moving at the perfect time to put something on the market in spring. We're getting rid of so much stuff that I feel like it's in my perfect world It's just gonna be a lot easier to tidy up With having a lot less stuff around right. The kids are now taking more responsibility for Cleaning their playroom and things like that. So mm -hmm. I'm packing stuff up already, too I have so many books That's one thing I can't well, bring we have, myself to get rid of. We have a crazy amount of books. Yeah, I can't, because we still have kids that are benefiting from them, so I won't. Uh -oh. I won't get rid of them, but um, I'm packing them up and like... Is that gum? No, it's the happy for the happy honey for the stars. The uh, stars for the ceiling, which we needed to put up, and now it's like, why would we? Right. But like, yeah, these three totes, I've already packed up these books, and I told the kids we won't see them until... We're in Georgia, so I don't know. We're talking about it a lot, like moving and. Oh yeah, with the kids. Yeah. Right. Living in a different house and trying to prepare them. They're no stranger to moving, so. That's right. That's good. Oh, I can't lift that. I threw it on my back. 
Oh yeah, did we, we didn't even talk about going golfing yesterday. Yeah, we went golfing yesterday and I tweaked my back on my very first swing on the very first hole. <laughs> and I like couldn't play. <laughs> that sucks. It was still really fun. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a blast. Yeah, I like chipped and putted and everybody else was playing to their full capacity. Is that Ada or Alice Sue?